these two. I caught the tail end of that one. Well, we're up in Missouri doing our Chasing Big Buck Deers hunt giveaway. We've got Nick with us, lucky winner of the <laughs> competition. Um, he started driving yesterday afternoon up from Louisiana and got in here. Uh, there's a deer there, another deer. See, yeah, that's a big one, too. That looks like a doe, also. That's probably one of the ones we've seen run across earlier. Yeah. But, uh, we're in here on the hay field, um, where you guys have seen a lot of action in the past. Uh, set up in the blind, we've got a couple does out here feeding to our right. Got another doe feeding up on top of the hill. Um, probably, well, I've been here for two and a half days. This is the most action we've seen early already. So, uh, we're trying to get him on a buck. We may shoot a doe one morning if we get one, but, uh, came up here a couple days ago, scouted out some spots, set some stuff up to get ready for him coming up. Um, he got up here about 10.30 this morning. Got a little lunch, got a nap. Got out here about three o'clock this afternoon and uh, slipped in here. We've seen, I think so far, five deer. We had two run across earlier. We got these two and then this one up here. So he's got a, uh, he's got his sniper rifle <laughs> rigged up and ready to go in case we get one to step out that we want to take down out here. Um, it's about 300 yards, give or take, to where the majority of these deer are at. So what is that? 308? 308. Yeah. So. With a little custom work done to it. But uh, we're going we're gonna to grind it out. we got a couple days with some potential rain and not the best weather, but some decent weather. Uh, one cold day coming up in about two days. It's still during the gun season, so uh, we're going to put our best effort in. See if we can get on a buck. If not, we'll definitely pop a doe before. He gets out of here to send him back with some freezer meat and uh, hopefully we get lucky and lay a buck down for the chasing big buck deers all books go to heaven 2019 tour he's already brought better luck with him than i've had so we'll see if it'll continue on first time ever hunting missouri right first time deer hunting yeah first time deer hunting did a goose hunt beginning of the year She just hanging out right there. She ain't coming down a bit. There's so much clover in this field. Like underneath all this hay. Because they planted it in clover a couple years ago, the whole field. Where she's at? That, that, just everything. All this hay field. It's got, when you walk oh, out through it, like too. underneath it, there's just a ton of clover. Okay. And that's why, I guarantee you, that's what she's up there feeding on. Because there ain't much else up there. I don't know why she'd be standing there eating dead hay grass when there's a perfectly green green clover pot 150 <laughs> yards behind her. So. That's a shooter, Nick. Definitely. Get your gun up. See if we. Can. I see him moving now. If we can get a, if we can get a pocket on him. You're range. Yeah, I'm about to. Three hundred yards is where he'll be. That's a big buck. Yep, that's a good deer, Nick. 300 is nine and a half minutes. I mean, you, 
could just put it right at the top of his back and pull the trigger. Can you see him clear? I like to tell just how big he is. Shit, he looks big. He's big, Nick. Like that may be that may be that deer I was talking about. That ten. Yeah, to the... Here he comes, Nick. Hey, look, when you feel good about it, it's on you. I think it's that big 10. Jasper. I mean, anywhere that you feel confident. I think you can get him right there. Come on, shooting bro in the chest? I mean, if he turns right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just would hold dead center on him. Probably that 260 range. So if you've dialed it for 300, I'd just put it on his heart and let it rip. That's a good... That's a third one over there. So, we ain't worried about them. This is our buck. I think they I think they're watching us though. Yeah, they hear us. The doe's watching us too. She put her head down. Come on, just relax and Yeah, she's still in her legs. Alright, she's moving. Be ready because he's about to step in that opening. Here he comes. Call. All less than two, right at two hundred. But 
if you're gonna do it, you better. If you want me to stop in my wheel? It's your call. Dropped him. Just, just keep watching him in case he does try to get up because you, you popped him a touch high. Hey, see him trying to flop? Yeah. Well, that's it for Nick <laughs> on the uh, big buck hunt giveaway. We're going to give him a little bit. We'll go over there and do the recovery on him. But uh, it didn't take long. 7.15. Uh, it's the second buck we've seen this morning. Saw a couple of coyotes. Actually went in where he came out of. He come out of that that draw right there. and uh, That might have what stirred him up. But he wasn't phased. He was working this wood line and come on down and Nick put a good shot on him, dropped him. He hit him a touch high, but he's he's down. He's not going anywhere. His head's down now. Yeah, his head's laid over. He's he's done. But up here on one of our farms, up here in Missouri, uh, got several. But second morning, um, got him done. Probably the pro probably the least least hope we had is windy. Super, it's pretty pretty <laughs> daggum windy, but and the weather's supposed to get bad the next couple of days. Yeah, so probably right at right at two hundred yard shot, but uh, worked out. Same buck we saw yesterday. Kind of talked about it last night, you know. Yeah. Hold off, and we second guess not taking the shot yesterday afternoon about uh. We had a quarter and facing a shot on this deer and didn't take it and lo and behold get a redemption opportunity today so it all worked out well actually 195 so We'll probably hang out a while, watch, see if anything else comes through. Should be nice and coyotes come back through. Yeah. Just have some little fun. And I and I still got a tag, so we may get lucky another buck come through, but he's anchored down. <coughs> buck number eight for the uh chasing buck big, big buck deers. All bucks go to heaven. Freak outdoors twenty nineteen. What the hell he actually come out the woods at? He come out in that corner, that dark spot. Okay. That's where there's a big trail coming out. So it had to be. Them coyotes might have got him. They might have. They might have pushed him up. I mean, he was right where we left him last night. Yeah. I mean, that's right where we left him. So good deal. You relieved? <laughs> I figured we'd shoot something. I mean, I. I mean, I know it's hunting.
weekend in Missouri on one of our farms up here. Uh, was able to take out this buck this morning. We watched this deer yesterday afternoon. Probably what 45 minutes at least. Um, well after dark, waited till it was completely dark to back out and uh, come back in here this morning. He was the second buck we saw. Saw a couple coyotes and then. Uh, saw another buck after while we were waiting to come down here and do the recovery but he came in behind us come across the field and uh was walking this creek line and uh, our blind set up on the other side of the field it was right at a 200 yard shot uh nick dropped him in his tracks shooting 308 and uh it's cold I, I know you're gonna be able to hear on the video it's super windy uh it's probably 20 mile an hour gust right now it's supposed to get worse throughout the day but uh we had targeted this deer uh, as a as a big cull. He's an older three and a half or four year old deer. Got a lot of mass, kind of a unique deer. Gonna make a cool mount. Uh, it's Nick's first deer in Missouri. Um, as most of you know, we did the contest this year. The hat he's wearing was the, the lucky winner, a buddy of his. He didn't even know anything about the contest. A buddy of his called him, told him to, to buy a package. He bought a package and this is the results. So, what do you think about it? Oh, it's nice. I really enjoyed myself. Good guide service. He, he talked about some other places in Ohio I'd like to look into, and I'll probably go to next year or the year after that. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's been a it's been a fun trip so far. Um, he's only had a day and a half of hunting. Um, you know, hunted yesterday afternoon and this morning. Actually, I, I guess right, one full cool day. day. Yeah. And. Uh, it had been slow. I, I kind of felt bad when he got here. We were talking about, you know, hadn't seen a lot of deer, but I felt like the deer were about to start coming off the does. I thought they were kind of in some lockdown. And sure enough, Nick brought the luck with him from, from Louisiana, some of that some of that tiger luck. And uh, saw a bunch of deer yesterday afternoon. Um, and then, like I said this morning, we sent three bucks. And he got this buck down. So we're going to take a few photos and, and we're gonna go get the truck we got to drag him across this creek and up this hill and stuff and and get him loaded up and go get him skinned out get him deboned so Nick can take him back down south make everything legal uh, we'll notch the tags and get all that done here in just a second and uh, we'll be back with you guys again uh, hopefully laying down another one on this all bucks go to heaven uh, 2019 chasing big buck deers tour um, that's our second Missouri buck down on some of the farms and land we've got permission to hunt um, it's Nick's first deer in Missouri. Is this your first deer this year? Yeah. First deer of the season for him. I believe it's number eight for us as a, as a group. Uh, was was thrilled to be able to take him out and guide him and, and show him our place, kind of, kind of my little piece of heaven as I call it. 